Bruce Bryan, Atlanta Hot Tub Center, Tub Talk 101. And guys, today by popular demand, we are gonna start doing a series of exercise videos. As you can see, I'm not in my normal uh, setup here, but what I wanna do today is I wanna teach you how to use these boxing gloves in the swim spa to get a good workout, and then we're gonna do an actual 10 minute workout. All right, so first things first, as a warm up. We're gonna go forth, and you wanna, you wanna spread your feet out about two to three feet away from each other, depending on how tall you are, how long your legs are. And we're just gonna stand here like this. We're gonna bend the knees, and we're just gonna push forward. We're just gonna punch forward. That's it, right? Now, what I like to do, right, is I get them turned like this, okay? And then I'm gonna twist, right, this way. So I'm going to push forward, and as I do it, I'm gonna twist so my fist is upright. All right, so side, twist, fist is upright. And we're gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, okay? The other thing we're gonna do, and you gotta watch, this is a footwork deal. So you can see I got one foot pointed forward. The other one is slightly at an angle on its side. And as I swing forward, I'm twisting, right, my fist, and I'm turning my leg and I end up on my tippy toes. Reason we're doing this is I'm activating my core. I'm getting my entire body into the swing to maximize the workout. Okay, now, if you're not comfortable with that yet, and some of this does take time, and this is really a beginner's class, shall we say, or whatever you want to call it, right? I'm just trying to show you how to use these gloves and how to get a workout with them but you could just get in a comfortable spot, right? And just bend the knees, turn the fist, and just do that. If you wanna get your whole body into it, get a little bit more of a workout, bend the knees, and you're gonna twist into it, all right? You're gonna get your entire body into it. You can twist your hips, you can feel it when you do it, okay? So, in the swim spot today, I'm gonna to get in here in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to do about a five to ten minute workout. All right. So there's going to be a cut here in the video, and then I'm going to get in and we're going to start this workout. All right, guys. So after that little cut, you see I got my boxing gloves here. First things first, guys. Before starting any new exercise, please consult a physician and make sure that you can do just that. All right. So um, I want to jump into water temperature, guys. I have my swim spa set at. 85 degrees you do not want to start exercising in 102 degree water right that is a different animal and that is more of a hot tub than it is to a, a swim spa or something to exercise in so again I've got this set at 85 degrees today I also want to talk about the different controls if you have the aqua pro which is off to the right you can't see it in the video but you can hit the start button it'll count down from 10 and then you can adjust what speed that you want the speed we're going to use today is going to be speed three okay so if you don't have that aqua pro and you have a touch display up front and you do have a uh, trainer um, a model right then you're gonna go over and you'll set it to three now of course you can as as we do these videos and stuff you can always up the speed right that's part of it today this is for beginners we're gonna go at three futuristically you can go four five six seven eight whatever it is that you want to do right and then if you have a sport you're gonna have two diverters at the waistline which is back here um, and you want to set those between 50 and 75 percent okay to try to get to that number three level that you would get on a trainer okay so here we go guys i do have the aqua pro so i'm going to hit the start button it is going to count down from 10 and then i'm going to adjust the speed again to three okay all right so i'm going to stand back Guys, one thing I want to mention, um, it's going to be very hard to be able to replicate this if you do not have a hydropool swim spa. One, we have the widest swim current, right? I'm boxing in this thing. I'm going to need that 41, 42 inch wide swim lane, swim current. I'm going to need that, right? Otherwise, it's going to be hard to do. I can't tell you if you're going to get the same result 
out of a different type of swim spa because our jetting's different, our speeds are different, our variable speed pumps are different. Everything about a hydro pool is a little bit different, right? And of course, they've made a living being that way. You know, uh, your closest swim current, as far as width goes, is going to be 21 inches. So 20 inch, 20 inches is is different. You might not be able to box in your actual swim spa if you don't have a hydro pool because it might not be wide enough. All right. So I just want to mention that full disclosure. All right. So here we go, guys. Like we were outside, we're going to dip down here. We're going to bend our knees and we're just going to go right and we're going to go left, right, left, right. Don't forget to twist your fist as you punch twist and we're going to do this for about two minutes and i've got a trusty trusty audio guy named dusty who you guys probably know if you've come into the showroom before and he's going to let me know when i hit that two minute marker so we can move to the next exercise so just keep going again you're going to twist you're punching at the current, right? Twist, twist. Now, again, guys, it's not enough. We got the other set of boxing gloves and you can bring up the speed, right? But just keep it going, keep it going. That's a pretty good workout. Just keep going. Keep your knees bent. Go right at the current. All right, we're getting close to that two minute marker. We're gonna go just another few seconds here and then we're gonna switch. When we switch, we're gonna switch to the left in the front and the right leg in the back. Remember, just get comfortable if that's what you need to do, right? You don't have to get your entire body into it if it's not comfortable for you yet. Again, remember, exercise and repetition and doing things over and over again, all these exercises will get that much easier for you. All right, so we're gonna turn, okay? You wanna try to get uh, right in the middle of the current. We're gonna twist with our right. Again, if you can, Flip your back foot toward it and really twist and get your core in there, you're gonna get a better workout. And Dusty will let me know when I hit that, that two, three minute marker again to where we're gonna switch. Remember, you're punching. You're punching right at that current. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. You gotta get the oxygen to the muscles. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing. going keep breathing now guys at any point in time you need to take a rest you can do that of course you don't have to keep going but if you can manage to get through this workout you're gonna feel good good exercise all right so now we're gonna switch and we're gonna switch and we're gonna do the same on the left and here we go we're gonna switch it we're going to do the same on the left. Remember, punching right at that current. If any point in time in the exercise you need the speeds a little too much, another thing that you can do opposed to stopping in the middle of your workouts is just back up a little bit. The current is going to be a little bit less 
if you back up a little bit on this pad. Of course, Dusty, let me know when I get in that two to three minute marker with this guy. And then we'll finish out the 10 minutes how we started. And remember guys, the more you do it, I'm telling you, the easier it's gonna get, the more you're gonna need, right? The more, the higher the speed you're gonna need. All right, now we're gonna finish guys how we started and we'll be at the 10 minutes. Remember, two to three feet apart, knees bent. Make sure to twist into your punch. Bring it back to the side and then twist into your punch. Keep it going. Just a couple minutes left. You're almost there. Almost done. Keep breathing. Breathing. Almost there. Less than a minute of exercise left. All right, guys, two more punches, two more, two more. All right, guys, and that's it. So that's how you're gonna use these boxing gloves. And again, as time goes on, the exercise gets easier and easier, and you're gonna have to up the, up the speed on your swim spa. And again, you have another set of gloves as well. So even if, even if right, let's say that you've got a sport and you make it to speed five, right? and you still want to continue with just a 10 minute workout that's when you're going to bring those blue gloves out and the blue gloves have bigger fins on them and stuff and gives it even more resistance as you're trying to punch the current or swing at the current this is brian at atlanta hot tub center and had a box in your swim spa thanks